All right, this is part two. Uh, so now we're at the motor control center again. If it's powered up, obviously de-energized, lock out, tag out. This is a dead section in a plant uh, that we use for fitting motor control center to make sure all the doors and everything fit correctly. So this is one unit that has a broken handle. It's already been removed and discarded. So I'm gonna basically replace it with the bucket that we already replaced the handle on. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. Using this, making sure the breaker's off, turning the handle, and holding in this little lock right here, and pulling out. Okay, working the bucket around, watching the lift get caught here, and removing. I'm now going to replace that one with the bucket that we re repaired in the previous video that we added the handle onto. We took this vintage of handle off. We discarded it and we installed the new series of handle. So when we install this, we're making sure we grab the two hangers that grab onto my divider pan. And then the same thing on the other side. We've got two hangers that are gonna mount right here. And that's gonna hang the bucket in there. And then our finger clips, which are on the back there, will positively lock onto the bus bar that's inside. Alright, so again, we're going to engage our hangers, the front ones first, obviously. We're taking care not to mangle our interlock from the door. Our first ones are on, our second ones are on. Now we have to drop this little interlock here so you can grab it from the inside, whether you push it like that or however you do it, and give that a good slam. So that sound tells me we're in. I then take this and I go clockwise which keeps that in there. And what that is, is that's just a large pin that's basically locking up inside the divider pan. There's a little slot right here in the divider pan and the pin goes through it. And you can see my screwdriver popping through. That's sort of mimicking what that pin is doing. And that just keeps the bucket from coming out. All right, so now that we've got that on, everything looks good. I still can't close it because this is not pushed over. This interlock here will be pushed over when this engages. There may be some adjustment you have to do here with a number 1032 hex head, um, a 516, so you may have to adjust that and slide it back and forth to get better engagement. So we can go ahead and look at that now. So sometimes these handles sag a little bit. You just got to kind of work it over a little bit. It's just typically the way the bucket is. And we grab it with our quarter turn. And we go on, we go off. So right now that turns on correctly should not be able to open the door all the way okay so what that is that's our our defeat interlock here we're going to turn that and now we're able to open the door okay probably best to do it again close the door now what you can do is if you're not happy with the way this is sitting in here it is sitting a little bit to the left um, you can go ahead and loosen your four screws if you want you'd have to take this cover off shift the breaker just a little bit down to the right and then you can reattach your handle you might even be able to loosen these screws here a little bit get a little bit of play but you're not going to get much so you know just holding this breaker and the handle all the way to the right while I tighten it just try to get that uh, cut out to line a little bit better with the face of the operator okay. Eh, not a lot better, but a little bit better. Now, well, as they say, that looks good for my house. Okay, so that's part two of installing the F2100 compact six inch uh, direct mount handle operator.